Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Now, I know what you're thinking, and I say, hey, come on in. You're family to me. Get comfortable, relax, because I'm going to teach you something brand new here today. And no, it isn't some sort of crazy new coronavirus, you know, strand. It's actually not even about my neighbor's cat, which I had to tranquilize because some guy gave me some funky looks down the hallway, which resulted in me getting arrested. But then we didn't know that my four buddies walking down the street would have seen the whole scene, thought they could actually come up to the cops and actually fight them just to get owned by four crystals because the cops know how to crystal PvP on Minecraft, making them, well, pass away, so to speak resulting in proper misconduct of the police officers and a settlement of $10 million. Wait, what was I talking about again? All right, all right, uh, we were talking about fishing. A new fishing technique, and one that is very special to the Pyro Fishing mod. This fishing technique is called Scales. Now, I know what you're thinking, no, this isn't some sort of crazy legal term. You don't need to worry about being sentenced in front of a judge. It's perfectly legal here on Minecraft. Kind of like legalized gambling for people of all ages. And it involves fish. Hello there. My name is Pyro, and I'm going to be teaching you about how scales work on Terra MC for the Pyro Fishing mod. First things first, please hit slash, type in fish, scales. When you hit enter, you're brought into this nice looking menu. It has a little information emerald. And as it states, place fish in here, then click the anvil to weigh all the fish in the GUI. Select a risk to increase your odds of making money. The neat part about this is... If you select a low chance, your chance of profit is pretty high, 70%. But you're limited on how much you could make, obviously, as that would be broken if it was much higher. Medium, high, and extreme have their own set of risks and their own set of gains. One thing that I like to point out is when you hover over a fish, you'll notice that it has a base price. Let's take this little slippery customer, the eel. I put the eel in here, it's originally worth $60. Now, I'd like to get more money out of it. My best bet would probably be to run a low risk. When I click the scale, a little thing below will say that you have scaled the fish in your inventory. And now that I've taken the fish out, I now have a slightly higher value or higher priced eel that is available in full. Now, one thing that I do point out though is you can gain much more from you get the scales than just a low risk. You select something like extreme and you start sticking all the fish that you can right inside all but regular fish like the salmon, cod, and etc. So now that there is a wide variety of fish here, we'll take a quick note of the values of each of these fish. So what I'm really looking for is for the bronze fish, uh, we're just going to separate them out to make it a little easier to identify. For the bronze fish, we're looking for a value of 50 or above to make profit or break even. And for the silverfish, we're looking for a value of 60 or above to break even or make profit. Extreme is selected. Now we click the scale. We've scaled all the fish. Let's see our winnings. This is 49, so this is done at a loss. This is 99, this was done at a major gain. 
This is done at 21. We took a huge loss on that one. And this is done at 75, which we did get a good gain. And as for these fish, originally 50 is the price that we're looking for. So we got 57, 79, and we got 79 on two of them, which is great. 84. 49.50, which is, you know, less profit in terms of that. 18, we really got screwed over there. 15, we really got screwed over. 12, we got screwed over. But 90, we came out on top. These fish made profit, these fish did not. One thing that I do tend to let people know of is... If you're looking for consistent gains, I would highly recommend sticking around more than likely the low to medium risk on fish. You tend to get a lot more value out of it because of the higher percentage chance of getting basically a profit value from tipping the scales. Now, if you have fish like mythical fish, platinum fish, those fish are worth a lot of money. I would recommend always putting it in and running extreme risk value on them in order to see what you can get out of it. If the extreme works and you do end up making a hefty profit off of the initial fish, then you could sell it for an exorbitant amount of money, more than what you would normally make via the normal sell price. If you do not scale well, however, if you attempt to sell it to another player, the other player would still purchase the platinum or mythical fish for their traditional price, mainly due to the fact that people would still need it for application use such as totem upgrades, personal collections, and etc. I'm happy to uh, point out that that's really all for scales. With that being said, thank you so much for taking the time to learn about scales here with me, and I hope you have an excellent day today. Bye-bye. And if you like that video, feel free to hit that like button. Maybe even that subscribe. I know, plugging in, but I have to. It's all part of the plan. All right. Bye-bye now.